Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. Today we'll be playing Azorius Step Mania. Now of course you might recognize this deck just a tiny little bit because, well, second of all, uh, first of all, this is the second uh, video I'm recording the same day, but because I don't want you to know that this is the second video I'm recording this day, I'm just gonna put on some glasses, there we go. You know, roll up my sleeves a little bit. You, Different person, different day, you don't even know this. Actually, I'm seeing quite a little bit better the screen, huh? Wow, I can I actually kind of read better the screen like this. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that, was, that was weird. Second of all, you might recognize this deck because it's the first deck we played on the previous One Punch Man uh, Part 3. And it was a really interesting take on the top uh, mechanic or, you know, top... We have a lot of top mechanics in um, basically the game, but doesn't get really utilized that much, or at all actually, and I was very interested by it, I thought it was very cool, so I thought I would take it with my own direction, they did have a lot of, you know, uh, bunt, so they could have Selesnia and Vigilance and top with uh, our, well, you know, the card from Selesnia that is... Uh, the four mana frontland felidar yep front f sure I, I could say that word uh, but yeah I didn't like that version I thought it was pretty slow pretty unpredictable and I came up with another version for Azorius flat sorry for Azorius stoppers and basically it goes such as a uh, giant killer because it kills something f with four uh, power greater so it's a very good uh, late game killer uh, it also can be played as a one drop and it taps a, a target creature. We have um, Arvidale Tactician, a very good card for you because for two mana we tap two creatures. Very, very good to stop aggro. We have, of course, Frostlings to just basically tap something for two turns. We have Chadwick as he's known to give us some card advantage and also tap things when we play blue spells we have Dungeons guys to keep something permanently tapped and dispose to tap target creature and draw a card now this of course we have also Kiora best, best the sea god which means it gets uh, sorry we get an 8-8 kraken with hexproof and then we tap all of our opponent's stuff so that's really big for the top mechanic but let me get to the juicy parts we have ominous seas which basically synergizes so well i've been waiting to play with this card but i want to do something special something different so basically ominous seas synergizes so well with chadwick with ve uh, uh, variety cycle and dispose it's truly amazing as of course variety cycle when we tap an opponent's creature for anything else than attacking it basically draws a car which is super cool and of course we have summary judgment to deal uh, three or five damage to something and swallow hole to just basically kill an opponent's creatures and get plus one plus one counters on our creature now without any further delay and enough of me yapping let's finally Get into the game. I truly expect any creature based opponent to hate me for making this video and I'm very happy with that also I should probably have dove in not roll but for another time ominous is I am super happy to see it we have some summary judgment so that's pretty good as removal I'll take it I like it I like it. it's a little bit slow we don't have our creatures our super tops but we do have three lands we can easily go to four we do need variety circle but ominous seas will provide us with such a huge creature at so many points in the game which we're trying to stall it's gonna be great also if you're enjoying this deck if you're enjoying other decks I have made make sure to leave a like subscribe for more content mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. oh yes the whammy dammy combo wombo here I really like it, even if you are not subscribed, subscribe because good things will happen to your game, such as drawing variety cycle while playing Ominous Seas at turn 2. And basically, being OP. You can be OP like me. There's nothing bad about that. You're overpowered. Accept it. Anywho, also, if you really want to support me even further than that, go over to teach.tv slash sentience lair and leave a follow there i would really appreciate i know i know i'm not uh streaming as much as i used to because i started working but don't you worry child i will still try to do two to four times a week as much as possible to, uh, well sunday which is basically t t yesterday for this video i will have uh, a video of anywho we're gonna be playing uh oh i really want to kill it's wall innkeeper though I 
kind of want to kill Edge Wall Innkeeper because it's such a big card draw for them and I know this really delays me but we really need to get rid of their power so we can you know just get in on with our stuff I mean we do have a right cycle and omnices we're gonna start frost linksing and stuff like that but we have to wait a little bit we have to wait it's okay to wait, I mean, we can draw into another mana and have already cycle to stop an opponent's creatures when they play to, on their turn and we have like 5 mana up, which is fine. Incubation, okay. Let's see if, what they get. I mean, I'm not afraid of their... Uh, oh, I, I really I really hate that. I really hate that. That stops Omnuses. Oof, that's not cool, dude. That's not cool. It's not cool. Um, I'ma start. I'ma start deploy. Uh, cause basically we need some aggro to happen, and I just don't want to, you know. I mean, we know that they're gonna brazen borrower. Yeah, they're gonna brazen borrower my omnuses. Oh, giant killer is such a flavorful play here. This is gonna come up. It's a little bit later. I think. Uh, is it though? Is it though? Is it though? Okay, Frost Links. Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna die zone, guys, just because um, maybe it will force them to. Maybe it will force them to uh, brazen borrow the dungeon, guys, but I very much doubt it. It will. I mean, just brazen borrow is awaiting for the turn of Ominous Seas in my hand, which is very sad. But anyways, we finally started uh, Variety Circling, so I'm very happy with that. Because it just buffs up buffs up our place so, so much. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's so good, dude. Finally. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> gonna do actually variety circle just so we can have a double card draw because we are very unlucky right now with the mana if you notice like we have been very unlucky with the mana I really don't mind just getting hit a little bit by love struck beast that's just fine I mean we are gonna be killing them way more efficiently than they can kill us due to us having like these constant taps and control over our opponent but we have been mana screwed even though we have 24 lands which is kind of weird all right so that is oh that's so good we can actually activate Dominus seas that's so bad for them lol thanks kid get wrecked noob <laughs> it's kind of mean I'm gonna kill Lost Struck Beast because it's free or it's Wall Innkeeper. Alright. I'm actually. gonna kill Beanstalk Giant. And I'm actually gonna kill Lost Struck Beast. I could have uh, activated Dominus Seas, but I don't really care as they're gonna be focusing on Dominus Seas, which we can just replay and variety circle v uh, them very easily. So I'm not very afraid of them, in all honesty. I think we should have the win here, uh, in all honesty, so that's fine. I mean... Like, even if they brazen borrower, that's just like one card draw, and maybe they can go up to two card draws. That's fine, I think. Why? Why though? Okay. That's, that's absolutely fine. Like, we are like, uh, you know based on the skies so that's absolutely fine for me okay dude 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 thank you that took a long time to do really hate slow people like 
Come on, you don't need to be this slow to play the game. Like, I'm literally having to press so many buttons, I'm 50 times faster than you. Alright, we can play Omnisys again. Unfortunately, we lost it, but again, we are dealing so much damage to the sky and we have out-controlled so much their big creatures that they uh, have so many multi such a big plethora of threats they have to deal with. Now, they have to send back the dungeons, guys, in my hands. They have to deal with both dungeon guys. They have to or just heal as much as they can. So, they can't play any more mana. They have two... Four, five, nine mana open. That's absolutely fine. Like here, you don't risk any defending. Like you just don't risk anything. You know, there's no point into risking anything here. You just straight up attack, and we kill them through the sky. That's why I want to deploy. That's why I really love dungeon guys. Um, they could have a uh, Brazen Borrower, but I can tap it with uh, Art Veil Tactician very easily. So we'll see. But I think we take a very nice and, in all honesty, difficult win versus um, Timur uh, Adventure. And especially versus Timur Adventure while we went pretty slow instead of the faster pace we usually have and that's uh, due to me wanting to be a little bit more safe than not safe now even again if they play brazen borrower if they play it now i could top it with other veil tactician if they didn't play it now of course i would have been able to just straight up they wouldn't be able to defend of course here we put a stop we put a stop before their uh before their defending phase so they cannot defend with brazen borrower it is very important play here we draw into four cards also which is very good because ominous is immediately goes to five and we just played it which is pretty insane if you think about it we can get swallow hole which is another very fun card so as you can see we can pop off very easily with such an interesting deck i'm very happy i get to I was given this idea of variety circle from my opponent and you know just making it my own feels always pretty cool because you can do all these crazy combos and I love it. So here my opponent is probably dead but I do want to make sure that I draw all my cards because they might have uh, something like that. That's okay still, that's okay still, that uh, means they have 1 HP but doesn't mean they win. Okay. Uh, we're gonna be playing Hunting Geist here. We're gonna be stopping either Brazen Bobo. Uh, yeah, this stops that. This goes over here. Uh, that's a land. It's untapped land. And I think we pretty much just ended next turn, but we'll see. Let's see what they get. I mean, they have 1 HP. I do only have 3 flyers, and they have 0 defending flyers. Because we have so many taps, of course. If we didn't get so much mana screw, we would have been so more, uh, so much more efficient in the early game. So we wouldn't have to worry, you know, about us not having enough of a big swarm. So the only real reason we could lose here is maybe them... I don't know, they only have 5 mana open and it's very difficult to deal with the 3 HP of dungeon guys compared to 2 HP, you know. Um... Doesn't do anything, okay, that kills Omnus Seas. They really hate Omnus Seas, but Omnus Seas is just such a secondary threat compared to everything else. Like, it is gonna find value, it is gonna do a lot of good stuff, but it's not comparable, dude. I mean, in all honesty, like... I'm just gonna tap your Gem Razor. There we go. Of course, the good thing about Variety Circle is you can decide if you want to draw or not, and it's kind of always good to draw, so why not? Yep, my opponent finally concedes. Was a very nice, interesting first game. A lot more slower and a lot more uh, thoughtful compared to the usual meme stuff, but... It was pretty fine overall. Um, hmm... I don't like this because we don't have any of our key enchantments, so 
we're gonna mulligan again no key enchantments but i'm not gonna mulligan again that's just too much okay we're playing versus um cycling cycling will not expect us to be able to kill their uh, flourishing fox which is pretty good for us all right I have a really nice judgment of the flourishing fox can kill it very easily yep but they're gonna go very aggressive here very good for us I don't see Lurus I respect your decision good sir of course, we don't want to leave uh, Flourishing Fox up forever, although we could deal it with Dungeon Guys, etc, etc. Uh, but it feels like uh, overall too difficult for no reason creature to have to fight. Is this cycling... Is this... Uh... I don't know why why they... I, I don't know why they actually suck that in. Did they really need to cycle that one so much? Maybe for Zenith Flare? It is very important that we don't eat too much damage here. You do Zenith Flare. Um, our main goal is just to not lose HP here so we can win them before we get Zenith Flare to death, basically. Okay. Hmm, this is very difficult here. I'm looking for blue mana. Not this type of blue mana, but yep, yeah, okay. I was looking for an island in all honesty. Alright, this is gonna start pinking us quite a little bit, but again, we do have our Duvel Tactician. So although they cannot attack us, they have a lot of, uh, you know, incidental, I think it's the word I'm looking for, damage with the cycling. That is what I was looking for, because that can, um, can activate Dungeon Geist. Geist. And for three more mana, we can get Kiora Beast the Sea Goat, which is very good. Also, I'm very happy that Kiora killed Thaisa, because Thaisa is a bad person. Anywho, uh, I'm probably actually gonna just play Temple of Enlightenment and adventure the Ardeval Tactician on their turn, then play the Ardeval Tactician and start swinging from atop. They do have a lot of healing, that is true due to Drani's healer and the cycling. But again, you always have to remember that the bad part of cycling is that you, if you don't have one of uh, your reellers or stuff like that, you are very susceptible to drawing into your mana through the cycling. So um, you can get into some bad situations overall. Right, Valiant Rescuer is pretty OP. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good for them. Um, hmm. This could work on our favor. I'm just gonna play one as a defender and as an extra defender overall. If they they can only attack with this small thing, and that's what that's. They can only have attack with their small one once, and I'm already quite a little bit low, so I'm actually gonna have to start attacking from the sky as much as possible. Zenith Flare is very, very strong. It's a very, very strong guard. Uh, this is a very unfortunate game overall that just showcases what happens when we mulligan. We don't get one of our four um, ominous wins or one of our four, um, you know, of our right circles, but it is what it is, and I can't, uh, you know, do anything about it. All right, let them believe that they can attack with everything. Maybe they will. Again, we're just looking to play uh, Kiora Beast, Beast the Sea Gods, just to try to get a one shot if possible. I would love to see a variety circle pretty soon, but that's gonna take a little bit. As we are getting another Dant Killer here, that means that we're at 6 mana, this is 7 mana. It's very likely we draw into another mana, so that's fine, I think. I mean, I'm gonna play both our Dvel Tactician and our little giant killer. Jesus Christ. Okay, we start with the Zenith Flares. I told you, we're gonna start getting Zenith Flared to infinity. 
I'm gonna keep it back. I have to defend that deal cure beast the sea gods because if they have another zenith flare I basically lose and you all know how OP this deck is versus silly decks like mine because they get, just get to free cycle and without too much pressure overall and etc etc I would love to trade here like there is only positive trades on the board so I don't even use to I don't even need to do giant killers giant killers ability so nice but uh, since I'm giving the chance, I mean I'm I'm really super super dead. I could only use uh, some uh, deploys. Although this is still a very slow game, uh, I do think it's a very important one to showcase that uh, you know you can st you're gonna lose if you're not gonna draw into your good stuff which is a little bit sad but hey that's fine right okay can't do anything all right so i'm very happy right now we got to showcase a very controlly first game and then we had a very unfortunate second game where we didn't draw into our stuff this time around though i'm pretty sure that we can showcase maybe an aggro version of this you know have a swallow hold and killer then we can go for a very nice little showcase here i would be really happy if the third game could showcase that i'm actually gonna go giant killer because a giant killer enables swallow hole swallow the hole your hole can be swallowed <laughs> I don't know, in my mind that is still really funny, but I'm not gonna talk about it. Like if you want to kill Giant Killer, that's just a waste, in all honesty that it really is a waste. Anyways, we have Arderville Tacticians um, cycling again, oh man, I mean we are kind of in a way better position than before because we have some of our removal key parts so i'm gonna actually play enlightenment here frost links of uh, the Lynx tribe is not really what i'm looking for i'm actually gonna attack here and oof, um we need to play our developed tactician but i kinda yeah okay what the fuck is this like a Zenith Flare one shot shit? Okay. Uh yeah. That's a thing. So we are the Veil Tactician. We tap this. We exile that. We feel really good. Alright, that's three four Artival Tactician. That is only removable to double removal or a lava call so hopefully they don't have a lava call very weird game again variety circle or Tad and tadwick tadwick are very very important cards for us also deploy is very important so i'm kind of missing them right now but we can make do right right i mean this is getting up there fast and efficient I kind of just gonna have to attack and keep giant killer and swallow hole open. I, I mean, we can activate swallow hole very easily with both a giant killer tapping the creature and then uh, using uh, Arvidil Tactician to do it. Uh, uh, we're this is a very weird game. It's not exactly aggro, but it's not exactly control versus is it? I'm very weirded out by this. Ooh. Neheb. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well, blood gets removed. Alright. Um, that's a very weird game. We have two swallow holes. It's so fuck funny, dude. <laughs> um... We are killing them, slowly, effectively though. We have four more turns for Omnum of the Seas because we are just not really getting our card draw. It's, it's 
just hey deploy there we go that's a good thing to have try a little bit more through our deck that's really good I mean they kind of like really die next turn if they just you know don't get anything out then well I can basically kill anything they have this is such a weird opponent I, I don't know what they're up to they have so much mana and so many cards yet they Play nothing. It's so weird, dude. It's just so weird to me. What 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 what's this opponent up to, dude? Very weird. I I guess we kind of out control of swallow holes. I don't know. Okay. Pretty by hand. We mulligan. We get quite a lot of better stuff actually. I'm uh, gonna throw out Zadwith because I do like both disposes. And we do like ominous seas. We again really want to get to our, uh, you know, to our, to our uh, enchantments, so we can actually get cards and creature advantages. This is probably gonna be the last game of the video. I think it's a very nice place to leave it, as maybe we get to showcase something new, and if not, we get to showcase the deck a little bit more. And I think it's a pretty fun, awesome deck overall. It's very. It is weirdly Mimi, but I'm pretty sure somebody can make a super insane deck like this, utilizing these cards. So I'm pretty cool with it. Alright. I don't really need that much more land, so this is like, this goes from us overdrawing, uh, or underdrawing land to overdrawing land, which is uh, effectively what is in my life in Magic. All. So they get to deal uh, a shit ton of damage here. And if I had to count, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 damage in just one turn. That's pretty insane. That's Mayhem Devil for ya. Real insane card, dude. Real insane. Yep. Yep. Pretty insane card, dude. Alright, we're gonna summary judgment over here, the Mayhem Devil, just so we stop losing HP. Of course, this is the fifth damage. So, of course, they're gonna pop it, so you can deal with that. So, we'll go 15. Oh boy. Mayhem Devil is a very, 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 very strong card, dude. Very, very strong. It's pretty cool that the right now standard holds so many things. Sacrifice, uh, tops, mutates, so many things. That's pretty cool. Alright. So I'm actually gonna depose just so we can get five on Luminous. Ominous Seas. Luminous Seas, baby. <laughs> or actually, I could just Art of Veil Tactician. Yeah, I can just Art of Veil Tactician, so. I can just use it next turn and still have another one, but yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> Counterintuitive? Yes. Uh, do I need to do it? Kind of really do though. Kind of really do know. Kind of really need to. How does this return? Oh, okay. Like that. So this uh, needs to get exiled, but uh, that's gonna be a little more difficult said than done. But they are kind of going slow on land, and we are getting to our ominous seas, boys, so. It's unfortunate. Let's see if they uh what they do with sanitarium. Sanitarium. You know Metallica plays in the back. Everything's going off. A lot of sacrifice lately. A lot of sacrifice decks. Return a card from your graveyard to your hand.
I would love to exile. Um, would love to exile Mayhem Devil. That's not an option exactly. Have I have to basically eat five damage here? Why? You. Ah, oh, it's a very weird play from them. They lose out on that. Okay, we get Ominous Seas next turn. We're still at 11 8 speed. This is very difficult, dude. Very difficult, but I. Okay, Blood Aspirant. That's pretty. That needs to tap, but it's whenever. You know. God, that gets. Ugh. I mean, we can keep that permanently top with Gedanjan, guys. It's not bad. Dude, my brain's like, I really need to pop off and win this. You know, it's like, okay, let's do this. Why that attack, dude? It's so weird. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill that uh, Chandra at this point. Very annoying. Gonna. This doesn't say it. I can do this probably at their turn, right? Hopefully I can. I don't know if I can do Ominous Winds in their turn. I don't think I can, right? Yeah, I can. That's kind of sad. Can I really not do this on their turn, huh? Oh, sad. I didn't know this though. I learned. You know, you learn out. Oh no, I can. Cool, cool, cool. So they get back their Chandra plus their Void Beckoner. Not that I'm afraid of Void Beckoner, but that's fine. <laughs> I think we uh, pretty much out control them to a very, very high maximum, so I'm pretty happy with this overall. I would say we. Yeah, kind of like stop all their aggro, kind of remove it. Uh, like Swallow Hole is very strong, dude. It's so good to get to exile stuff instead of letting them just have it. Of course, it's not like a tier one deck or anything. It's a pretty mimi deck, but it's a pretty far one if you have the cards. In all honesty, like even without Vanity Circle, it's pretty far. Vanity Circle is pretty funny. All right. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna do this then. Boom, we get a big Kraken boy. Kraken Sarois. Alright. Alright. And it's gonna go like this. I'm just gonna go like that. And I'm just gonna. Uh, just gonna do this. And I'm just gonna do that real quick. And I'm just gonna do this. And yeah, I think we pretty much out control everything. And the funniest thing is, if they even get the mana for Void back on there, we just literally end up like. Uh, Insta killing it with a uh, giant killer, which is pretty sad, but it is what it is for them. Come on, please play Void back on her. Please play Void back on her. It's pretty funny. It is like an 8 8 with 8 in cycling. <laughs> They're like, should I cycle? Should I cycle? Like, you cycle to where, dude? Where do you cycle to? You got nothing. You got nothing. Really? Really? Why? Really? Okay. Okay. I mean, you're just basically dead through the air, so I don't know. Interesting overall that they would choose that. I don't know what I would choose either, so I guess that's the correct decision, but they're in a bad spot anyway. Uh, that's that is indeed a goosh. That is indeed a goosh. I guess they survive for a little bit more, huh? They it's pretty insane that they can survive for this long, huh? Even though we have so many creatures and stuff going on. It's pretty interesting. I forget this card even exists though. Aid the Fallen, huh? God damn, like, how OP was like War of the Spark? I still remember everybody losing their shit. Like, oh my god, it's very OP set. Anywho, this was the deck Tap Madness. Truly, I think a lot of. Oh. 
a lot of people lost their minds, including me, well I have lost the past few days, but this has been the deck, it's been a lot of fun, you can very much annoy your opponent, you can do a lot of cool stuff, there's definitely another iteration of this deck out there that is maybe more OP, but I don't know it yet, if you do, let me know, and yeah, thank you all so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more content, I really, 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 really do appreciate it. As you all might not or do know. Also, I have a Twitch stream, which I stream. I try to stream two to four times a week, depending on the week. Um, so yeah, if you want, you go follow me there, twitch.tv slash sentience lair. I also have a Twitter, where you can go follow me. And of course, there's the Discord server and links down in the description. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.